Hey y'all, welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. Me and Brody come down here. See if he'll crappy will bite a little bit. Oh, uh, we got a lot of rain. Swamp's flooded, so there's only a few areas that you could actually go fish. Been working on the buggy. I had to test it out. Uh, replaced a universal joint up in the front of it today. A several hour job and a nasty job. So. I got something new that I want to do, so we're going to try to attempt if we can catch a fish to do a catch and cook. I found me a, a Coleman camp stove, one of the little gas burner stoves that I can put on the tailgate. So I built me a chuck box and uh, got some cooking stuff in it that I can put in the boat, put in the buggy, wherever. So hang with us. We're going to see if we can catch a fish and maybe cook it here shortly. Uh oh, y'all. We may have a fish now. You want to reel him? What? Come here. You want to reel him? Do we have a big one? <laughs> we got one. It ain't a big one, but I bet he'll make a grease stink. We got to think. Let's hang on. Let me Let's get him up out of these bushes. Can we eat him? Oh, yeah. We can eat him. Hey y'all, look at him, look at him. Can I pet him? Can I? Yeah. I'm getting my bait here. I'm gonna hold him, hold him in the lip. Put your thumb in his mouth. Y'all, what I had swapped over to now, I've been changing a few baits, trying to see what I could get them to bite. And they, these fish is scattered this time of year in this backwater. But I caught him on that mayfly blue eyes. He ain't very big, but hey, better than nothing. You need some help? No. no. He does not want no help. But he's in the weeds. <laughs> He can get his bait out past his lily pad. Lordy Jesus. What? Hey, won't you come here just a second? You done lost it. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, hard head. Where you at? You see, you done reeled your bait and your cork all the way up. You can't fish like that. Let me put this niblet on him for you. I had him a cork rigged up on his show north pole. Niblet. I'm fixing to throw this out there for you, and you just watch the uh, cork. Now look, don't do nothing till you see that cork go under. It's got smell good on it. And I bet you a fish will grab it. Now, when you see that cork go under, that's when you start reeling it. You don't reel it till then. Maybe we'll, we'll see. We'll see how this works. I wanted to show y'all this wild lettuce plant while I'm here. And I'm going to pick off one of these leaves down here. Won't you look how smooth... They is one, or and that ain't even, yeah, they, uh, it has like two prickles on the bottom of that. One at my neck right there, and then very few, barely feel them. But this has yellow flowers. And I don't know what he's doing. All right, y'all. Do we got a big one? We got one. Oh, we got a big one. Can I win it? Can yeah, come in. Keep it tight. And he's going up under them lily pads. Real, real, real. There we go. I didn't want to let him get no slack to line. Now we lose them when we do that. I had done learn that. He's tangled up. Hang on. 
There we go. Is yeah. that a big one? He's pretty good size. He ain't no giant. He ain't what we'd call a slab crappie. All right, let me get him out of these weeds. Oh, he, he swallowed it, y'all. He, yeah. And I ain't even got my knife with the... I got a, a queen knife, and it's got a fish hook remover on it. I really wanted to demonstrate it, and I ran off and left it at the house. We got it out. Well, let's put him in the cooler. We're going to have enough to eat here shortly. All right, y'all, we got another one over here. Uh-oh, he done got up in the bushes over here. Done got him up in this. Mm. I don't know. He's up in these bushes. And them weeds. I'm going to have to finesse him out of here. That's all we need. Oh, oh, I, I think that's all. Oh. Y'all see, he hung up. It's, it's hard to fish right him. Did you catch, did we catch a salad? Yeah, we caught a salad too. That's what you gonna eat. I don't eat salad. Son, y'all, he, he wanted it. Look how deep that joker's hook. I had to confess, I was over here playing around. I done turned the camera off. It ain't biting good. And I uh, changing baits, and I put this electrified chicken on. I have fished with it a little bit before. All right, y'all. Finally got the hook out of it. It's a little old bitty piece. Well, we can eat it. It's a little old bitty bass. We don't want that. Yeah, we can eat it. No. We can't. I'm going to eat it. He's too little. No, he's not. Well, you put him in the cooler then. Put your thumb in his mouth. Right. Yeah. You, that's how you hold him. <laughs> Get your thumb in there. We'll go put him in the cooler. Get him. All right, y'all, we got a chuck box made. It ain't Chuck's box, it's a chuck box. <laughs> anyway, watch back, son. In here, I have tried to equip it with basically whatever I need where I can do Hey, hey, wait. Get over and sit down. Just sit down a minute. Mr. Helper. I've tried to equip it with whatever I need for whatever I'm going to be doing. Uh, I keep, I've got a bag in here. Now this is, is a cutting board and, and y'all, I, I put this all together pretty much in a hurry today. Um, this bag, this is a brown paper sack. In here, I have cornmeal that already has salt and camp dog in this already mixed up. In the winter time, if I'm going for rabbits, small game, squirrels, such as that, I would have flour in here. Knowing I was gonna cook fish, I put cornmeal, so. Brody has not looked in here, and that's why he's all dive over in it. Um, so, let me see. All right, more important you look in here than looking at me. Uh, this is for my tea. That is goldenrod and rabbit tobacco. And I just put in there. I'm going to set stuff out as you kind of see. A uh, couple of knives in here. This is a serrated knife. This is good for boning. Like a, and the reason I put it in here is if I had a gar, I could use this to kind of... This is a heavy-duty knife. I picked that up at a thrift store. And I ain't even sure what it is. It, it may be a bread knife. I'm not really certain so i have to watch what i do with it because we well, yeah, to sit right there for a minute so i put a couple of potatoes a couple of vegetables right here out of the garden i've got my tea kettle of course my grail is here and the purpose of the grail is if i'm low on water run out of water i filter water with that now what i was getting at is i'm a one season guy 
I mix all of my seasonings that I like into one thing and I can shake one seasoning on there and be done. I've got a Gatorade bottle that I filled up with cooking oil. That's all the cooking oil I will need. I have a skillet, fork, my cooking tool, tile in there. Now I got sawdust in here because I drilled my holes for my rope handles after, this is coffee, after I put all this stuff in there. So there's a couple of plates in there. We've got our teapot, and you see it's got sawdust all over it. I can make coffee or tea in that pot, so that is why I eat instead of the percolator-style pot. I got one can of gas, and y'all, the reason I went with the the, the uh, stove that I have got in here, and I'll talk to you about it when I pull it out, is because I can refill these, okay? I can refill them out of my five-gallon bottle. Watch. Ooh, that's a tick, buddy. Ooh, did y'all see that? I should have showed it to y'all on camera. I've got my canteen with a coffee cup under there. I have another cup over here, and I put a tomato in there to keep the tomato for safekeeping so it didn't get mushed. So we've got a few vegetables. Let me get my peppers, potatoes, a zucchini. You see all this? Just pile it in there. That's what I'm planning on cooking. Oh, now this is my spatula knife strop. I've got a fillet knife. And then I brought one of my backup uh, knives that I built. Okay, under here. Brody, I need you to back up, buddy. I need you to get down, okay? I, you're going to be able to see. Get down. Right. This cardboard is just to help prevent the rattling. And if I need a surface to lay stuff on, I have it. Fits right in here, this stove. So let me set it out over here and I'll turn y'all around. Okay, y'all, we got this out. Uh, I bought this off of Facebook for like 20 20 or 25 dollars you can find them online on ebay different places uh, i would suggest looking yard sales such as that you can buy new ones a brand new one's like 150 bucks 120 something i can't remember uh, gas line hooks to it hooks to the bottle this is a stand for the bottle um and i tested it on the lady's front porch it has the wind deflectors and they they hook right under that, and with a pot sitting on there, they kind of hold and don't move. And uh, I'm assuming that I'm, I'm figured that out right. I ain't 100%. That was the way I figured out that it was supposed to work. But anyway, wind deflectors, however you make them work, you know. I have, I have burned on this. I have not cooked on it. So let me get the fish cleaned. And we'll cook something right quick. Okay, y'all, we're going to use the top of the cooler to clean the fish. And I've got... No. Why? You don't eat fish heads. No. What do you can eat inside the fish?
a little bit of clean water to wash these. I got a little bit right there. All right, y'all. Brady is somewhat excited. And I don't know if I need these little flipper flapper do flick them or not, but. Y'all, I ain't figured out exactly my method of doing things yet because I have not cooked on this ever before. I just know that I am gonna like cooking on it. Brody's been sick, y'all. I don't know how he got some kind of summer coughing fit going on. and He's got a bunch of rattling in his chest. We've been giving him medicine and stuff. May have to make him some golden rod rabbit tobacco tea, but Brody don't like to drink my tea. Do you? You want to drink my medicine tea? Yeah. Huh? No. no? Yeah. I want to. Do we bring a drink over here? We brought water. Water? Yeah. Go look on the buggy. You got some water. Well, uh, I don't know what you want Okay. I'm probably going to mill them straightly in that set. Now we had four crappie. I had caught one off camera. So we have just got crappie fillets. I'm going to drop them right down in there and seal that up. We would do the same way if we were cooking the ground. Good. Pan, I tell you what. Now, Brody, you don't fool with this and get burnt, okay? Actually, we don't need but the one burner. I was thinking about making some tea, but there ain't no need in it today. Before we get too deep off in there. Alright, let me get my vegetables over here whacked up. Y'all see here, they see. burn something up here. Yeah. Oh, bro. They gonna be good. Yeah, they gonna be fine. Gonna be fine. Can I do Can I do Hang on. Y'all, this spatula gonna come in handy. We can get one more right off in there. Now I'll have to flip them and I put my spoon and my uh, fork on a little old chain here, but I think I'm gonna just use my handy dandy deal here. Reason I need both of them is I have to grab them together to turn them. And I could put more oil in there and deep fry probably, and I could bring a bigger pot and deep fry and i may do that eventually but we experiment today
I gotta figure out how what temperature I need to be cooking at. I think I'm a little bit hot. Be all right. Y'all see my cardboard over here coming in handy, handy. I may have to add some oil to this. Yeah, I'm gonna add just a little bit of oil. It's cooking out. I don't wanna. Yeah, I Alright, we're going to do these zucchini or I, I think that's, uh, a, I don't know what it is actually. It's not regular green zucchini, but it ain't the golden zucchini. I don't know if some seeds got mixed up or what. But they're going to be good regardless of what they are. We're going to eat them with a tomato. All right. That's all. We got a little room. We can go ahead and drop some of them in there. All right. Get you a couple of them things out and, and drop them over in that grease. Be careful. Oh, there you go. Oh, there you go. There's one or two more in there. Is that one in there? Yeah, yeah. Throw it in there. Throw another two in there. Oh, there they gonna be, they're gonna be good. Yeah, they gonna be good. Is that one hot, Dad? Mm-mm. This one? No, go ahead and eat it. I didn't pick the bones out of that one. Y'all, you can't beat this. Not with a big stick. Can I have another stick? Where it comes? There you go. Is it hot? Mm -mm. This is so good. I did. Brody, is this the best fishing trip yet? This is the way to do it, ain't it? Brody don't like throwing fish back. He likes to throw them in that grease right there. Release them and lake with them. That's where we release these, lake with them all. <laughs> That's where you release them, ain't it? <laughs> we may have to wind up getting us a set of tones and put it in here too. We got plenty of room for whatever we need. Don't fall off that creek. Cooler. Yeah, them fish is good, son. What's that called? That's all that fish. Mm -hmm. Y'all, I'm gonna have a doozy of a time dipping them up one at a time. Like here. Yeah. I do have a cast iron little small pot that's got a basket in it, and we may wind up putting it in here. I just didn't know what I was going to didn't know for sure what I was going to cut. I had thought about actually sauteing the stuff, actually. But then when I decided I was on deep fry, we went this route. Don't, don't knock stuff off. We ain't even going to need the plate, I don't think. We're going to go ahead with some of these french fries. Yeah, you can get back on there. 
get some water. We, we use everything for a canteen, y'all. That's got water in it. About all I drank much. We found out this week you don't need to give a kid a lot of Gatorade. Wires them up. It does. Hey, you might have known. I <laughs> we didn't know. We got to do it to read. Why he is needing so many spanking. Do what? All of it. Drink it all. We got the grail right here. It's slammed full of water, too. Now, y'all, that grail, I fill it up at the house and bring it full of water, and then I can refill it if I need to, so. Oh. I only kill my It's not of water. What about it? What you gonna do? Man. I don't like you don't like zucchini? No, I hate them. Oh man, that's good. Look, what? Man, that's delicious. I like fish better. <laughs> well, like him. Fish better. He likes the fish better, he said. Can't much blame him. No. Hold it good, it'll break. You know what we ain't done, brother? What? So you eat all that, we ain't said the blessing. Thank you, Lord, for the woods and the creek. Thank you for the fish we eat. Thank you for the birds that sing. Thank you, Lord, for everything. Thank you for the fish that swim. Thank you, Lord, for all of them. Thank you for the white-tailed doe. Thank you for all the plants that grow. Thank you, Lord, for everything. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, now you need it. That, that right there is why I don't worry about them poisons that you, you know, in them plants. Everybody says, oh, don't have poison on them. The Bible says if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. I read that. I did. When he ain't no eat zucchini, I am. I like them. I like fish. He said he likes fish. I ain't gonna hold that against him, y'all. <coughs> that fish good. Yeah. What's all in your hair? Birds. Seeds. What seeds? All them grass. The rag, y'all, is on there. That is my pre-filter. That way I always got one when I need it. So I like this thing. I really do, y'all. As long as I'm around water, I ain't never out of water. I ain't got to boil it. I could boil it on there and it'd be hot. I don't really want to drink hot water right now. This winter, it don't matter. I don't really need this in the wintertime. But now we've got, this thing here is full of water. When you're on a conveyance driving this buggy, you don't, you're don't you not worried about the weight. You can carry water, so it's not a big deal then. Um, this whole setup we fooling with today, this is, this is not about backpacking. This is canoe, buggy. We having a good time. Right. Hey, y'all. We, we found the shack. We found the shack right here. We can come back over here and see if we can get some more fish. Yeah, we come got in the shade, y'all. We, we're smart about this. Yeah. Y'all, I believe that is done. Gonna cut that off there. Brody said he was through eating anyway. This is what you call grazing. Hey. Hey. Daddy. What? Why we didn't bring no corn down here? No corn? Uh, we didn't think about it. Probably we figured we had more than we could cook. Well, we needed corn to cook down here. Maybe we... Can I eat, 
Clean as a whistle. We're gonna let that cool down. I'm gonna go ahead and French fries, buddy. Are they cold? Yeah. They still hot. Well, fill up and see. I don't know. Cold one for me. Do what? I gotta wipe this off to clean that up. Put it back in there. Yeah. Yeah. What you gonna do with it? Eat them. That's not what I want. What's that called? That's a potato. Eat it. Well, what kind of potato is it? Mm -hmm. You like tomato? Mm -hmm. There you go. I got plenty of these pieces of cardboard at the house. What's the matter now? Just uh, lay it down. I got the nails. I'll do it. Just lay it down. Mmm. Good. You want some pepper? Pepper? I hate pepper. <laughs> pepper are hot. For me. I dropped my mater. Well, leave that alone and hold it, need it. I just dropped it. Yeah, I know you dropped it. You're rubbing your arm all over that piece. Let's see if the fish is warm. They is fine. <laughs> man, 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 y'all. This right here is a good lie. Well, we hate for y'all to sit here and just watch us eat the rest of the evening. Brother said he thanks y'all for watching. What's the matter? You got a cut and got that tomato juice in it, didn't you? Anyway, tell them thank you for watching. Thank you for watching, everybody.
And what's the best way to do things? It's the way you like to do it. We'll see y'all. Y'all have a good one. Bye. That guard's checking out that tomato slice. See him?